picture what's happening with this and we know that I should have added that let's see this is the point zero seventy and this is the point uh, seventy four zero okay that's where the transmitters are located um, so what we're going to do is we're looking we're going to look for the coordinates of where that line intersects the circle so it's those two blue points that I drew in and and then find the distance between them. So um, I've got an equation of a circle that's centered at the origin with a radius uh, of 53 miles and then I've got another equation that well let's see the the, the slope is uh, down 70 right 74 and it has a y-intercept of 70 okay and that's equal to y so then I can put that into this equation. So x squared plus, uh, I see actually it should be negative 70, shouldn't it? Should, it is a negative slope. So negative 70 over 74, which we could reduce and simplify. x plus 70 squared has to be equal to 53 squared. So we can certainly solve this a lot of different ways. You could put it in a calculator and graph it and look for the intersection. We could use a, a Wolfram Alpha to simplify that. Um, let me sit and play with it for a minute and see what I want to do. So since this is just a quadratic equation, we're just looking for, for solutions. And uh, here's the output that Wolfram Alpha gave me. Okay, It's a messy equation. Why try to do that by hand? Um, so I've got my two answers. So those are the two x values where that line crosses that crosses the circle. So, right? So I mean this is a exaggeration, but um, that's not right. Let's see, let's make it look more like it should should. Here. So I'm gonna do is a different ink. So it looks something like this. Well, I'm like more that so there's a point there. And a point there, so that would represent that when x equals 24 point something, that's when x equals 45 point something. We have to find the y values. Now, well, since I know that, uh, I guess the easiest way to do this would be to use the use the line, I guess. So negative, uh, what was it, 70 over 74 x plus 70. So I'm going to drop in. I'm going to that should be 74, not 44. I'm going to drop in the 24.098, get a y value. I'll also drop in a 45.794 and get a y value. So substituting those values into the that line, I came up with these points. So those are the coordinates of the points. And now we just have to use the distance formula to, to find the distance. And that will tell me how long that distance is that you pick up the transmitter, okay? And remember, the distance formula is just, you know, you subtract the x's, square them, subtract the y's, and square them, and take the square root. It's just Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and that should get you the answer in the back of the book. Hope that helps.